my channel, where I'll be sharing my knowledge on programming the DJI Tello drones with Python. Today, we're going to start programming these drones by creating a script that has the drone execute a basic flight routine. Now, to do this, we're going to be using the DJI Tello Pi library discussed in my previous video. From this library, we're going to use the Tello module in particular. So we're going to go into our code editor and we're going to implement commands from the SDK. And to do this, we're going to reference the library and we're going to look at the detailed comments in it for each command and method of the Tello class. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in our code editor. I'll be using PyCharm as I would prefer this, but feel free to use your preference. And we have a main.py file we're going to execute our flight routine in. Here I have outlined seven comments for the seven steps of our flight routine. The first is to import from the DJI Telopy library. We're going to import the Tello module. If I can spell it right. Okay, so once you've installed DJI Telopy, you can find the Tello module in your site packages. And you'll go down to where it says DJI Telopy. You can tell it's a package by the little dot. And then you can click the Tello module, and that will open up Tello module which contains the Tello class and other related methods and classes. So we'll be referencing this as we instantiate our drone and send con uh, commands to it. So let's do that. Let's instantiate our drone. We're going to name it drone, and we're going to refer to the Tello module and the Tello class within this module. So now we have our instance of the drone object. We're going to establish a connection. To do this, we call drone.connect. Now we're going to look in here and we're going to just see what this command does. Here. Okay, so connect, it takes wait for state tr equals true. That, it's an argument that's already set for true. Ignore that. The important point I'd like to note is that by sending the connect command, you're entering SDK mode with the drone. This way, you can send control functions either to receive uh, data from the drone or to send commands to the drone. This other part we're going to ignore until later videos when we dive deep into the specifics of how the communication works between the drone and your computer. For now, just know that now we call this command and we are in SDK mode. So this allows us to send our first movement command and that is takeoff. We'll come here and look at this in the library itself, takeoff. The comment states automatic takeoff. We'll look at landing here because if we're taking off, we're gonna land it states automatic landing. The important point to note about these two commands is this right here, self.isFlying. This is an attribute of the Tello class. And by calling take off, you set it to true. And by calling land, you set it to false. This makes sense. You know, with when it's flying, it's gonna be taken off, then it'll fly. Let's see, so this is an attribute of the Tello class and is initially set to false, which also makes sense because you connect, you have send the takeoff command, then of course your drone is grounded. So that is just an, an important note I'd like to point out for once we become, uh, once we start doing deeper projects and creating our own classes that use the Tello. Uh, but we'll leave it at that for now. And I'll go ahead and skip to step six and we'll issue our land command there. Now for step five, I want to have the drone do more than just take off and land. So let's have it rotate clockwise for 360 degrees. To do this, we're going to call the rotate clockwise method, and we're going to pass 360 as its argument. And we will go ahead and look here to keep up with the trend of things. Rotate clockwise. The comment here is just simply states rotate x degrees clockwise arguments, any degree number between 1 and 360 as an int. Um, pretty self-explanatory. In terms of the movements, it's measured in centimeters, or I should I say specified in centimeters. It's pretty basic. So yeah, we'll just say that now we have our Tello object. We're going to connect, take off, do a little spin, land. And finally, you can either call drone.reboot if you plan to do more uh, testing with a script. This will allow you to not worry about powering your drone off and back on or having to reconnect to it as a Wi-Fi source. But instead, you can, once your program is ended, you can simply run it again without any issues arising. Now, instead of calling reboot, because this is very simple, we're not testing, we're going to call end 
this just ensures that everything's cleaned up and our resources are freed up. I'll show you this here. It does, well, let me take the parentheses here. So end. It states here to call this method when you want to end the Tello object. This will ensure that if your drone is flying for some reason and you didn't issue the land, that it lands safely, hopefully. It, also, if you're using the video stream, then it's going to turn it off. We'll ignore these for now because those are a little more advanced beyond where we're at now. The important point to note is that this frees up your resources, and that's all you really need. So that's it. We have our flight routine. Now, just because I prefer to program in more of a organized, object-oriented way, I went ahead and thrown this into another module called Basic Flight Routine. Here, I've imported the same module in the same way. The only difference is I have a main method, which is executed in a Dunder main method, which is a special Python method that ensures the main method in this module is executed when the, the module is run. Uh, so, okay, so we in the main, we instantiate our drone, and then we call the basic flight routine function. This function takes in our drone as argument, and then it does all the commands that we wrote previously. So now we're going to use this to demonstrate our basic flight routine. And I hope that everybody was able to follow and I didn't go into too, too deep of details or start rambling at all. I apologize if I did. So without further ado, let's test it. for watching today's video. It was only a basic script, but it's the first step to programming these drones and building more advanced, really cool projects. If you got anything from this, I'd really appreciate it if you could help share my channel and help it grow. Like, comment, share, subscribe, the usual. It'll really help me out as I try to continue to understand how to videotape myself and share my knowledge because really I just want information to get out there and be more easily accessible by all. So. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time.